The diagram below shows parallelogram ABCD with diagonals AC and BD intersecting at E. What additional information is sufficient to prove that parallelogram ABCD is also a rhombus? So one of the facts uh, that make a parallelogram a rhombus is that the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of one another. The diagonals in a parallelogram already bisect each other, um, but in a rhombus, not only do they bisect each other, but they're also perpendicular. Uh, another thing that makes a rhombus or makes a parallelogram a rhombus is the fact that all four sides are the same length. And then the third, um, the third fact that makes a parallelogram a rhombus is that all the angles are bisected by the diagonals. So let's see if um, any of the options here satisfies any of the conditions that I just outlined. Okay, BD bisects AC. That is true for all parallelograms. Uh, so option one is not correct. AB is parallel to CD. AB will be parallel to CD, but that is not unique to rhombuses. It's, uh, it's also true for parallelograms. AC is congruent to BD. AC congruent to BD uh, is not a requirement. Uh, AC and BD can be congruent, and that would be a more specific kind of rhombus, and that would be a square. Oh, or it could also be a rectangle. So option three is not correct. AC is perpendicular to BD. That is the defining quality that makes a parallelogram a rhombus. Okay.